Hello everybody, I am super excited to share with you how I created this really simple art journal page. Just using some acrylic paints and some stamps, I added a sticker quote uh, and a little bit of fabric to it just to give it a little bit of extra texture. Uh, and that is pretty much it. This art journal page is so simple and I am so excited to share how I created it with you guys. If you like this type of video where I share a project using pretty simple techniques and pretty basic supplies, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. The question for today is pretty simple. How are you? What are you up to? Did you learn a new hobby? Uh, get a new pet? Anything that you want to share in the comments, I am excited to read them. So be sure to leave me a comment. All right, so this technique is so simple. All you need is a brayer, acrylic paint, and a gel plate. I am creating a super simple ombre effect with Manor Blue impasto paint from Finnebear and uh, white gesso. So I added it to the gel plate and then I am using my brayer to blend it together. And this is just some regular cardstock, nothing exciting or too fancy or anything like that and I did cut this down to size to fit in my art my art daily journal um, and I hope you guys are enjoying these different angles that I'm sharing I find them a little bit fascinating and maybe a little bit more interesting to watch um, for this type of content uh, so let me know in the comments if you are enjoying uh, seeing different angles of the the craftiness <laughs> that's going on all right, so again, I printed or I added the paper to it, lifted up the print, and it wasn't white enough on the top. So I'm adding a little bit more gesso to the top of the page there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to the bottom of the page. Again, using a brayer. I have a few different sizes for when I do acrylic paint. And then when I'm using the brayer for uh, dye inks or um, different things like that that's a little bit easier to clean off the brayer. I find that when I use a brayer with the acrylic paint, just having the dried up acrylic paint on the brayer adds so much texture to a like art journal page or mixed media project. I really enjoy just that added texture that the dried up paint um, gives you uh, on, from the brayer. So after that dried, I'm going to go in with some permanent black ink and this Art Daily Cart po Postal stamp set. This one is really amazing. It has 30 different stamps in it and it's really great for collage or something like this where I want to add some texture to the background of my art journal. Uh, it has text, it has some images, it has words, it has numbers. Um, it's a really, really great stamp set and it will be linked down below. Um, also, all of the other supplies will be linked down below as well. So if you are wanting any of the supplies that I'm using, you can uh, check it out in the description box. All right, so I am going to add a little bit more texture with another stamp set. This one is called Dream On, and both of those stamp sets are from Finnebear. I'm going to be adding some added some texture uh, with some of that permanent ink and a stencil. I have really enjoyed doing this technique with um, my DIY collage paper that I've been creating lately. Uh, it's really fun and I find it just gives an extra something without adding a lot of dimension to a project. Uh, and an art journal page, you really don't want it to be two dimensional if you are adding it to a um, like already made book, which in this case I am, it is a art daily art journal. Uh, I will have it linked down below. It's, it's a really great book. And the only reason why I'm working on a separate paper is because it's harder to work with the, with the binding on the journal. The paper in the journal is absolutely amazing. So if you are a little bit, better at working in a bound journal than I am, then um, it will be amazing. So I added some uh, ink to the sticker and also the art journal page that I'm going to end up sticking in that book. 
Uh, and then now I'm going to add some splatters. I added a little bit of blue splatters and now I'm going to add some white splatters. I don't think that a art journal page is complete or really almost any project is complete without some splatters. It just adds so much texture and interest. Uh, and again, without adding too much dimension to the project. I am just going to finish up adding the splatters to the art journal page and that is going to be it. It was so simple and I love just getting creative but not having to have to be in my craft room for, you know, five hours making a project. Sometimes I just want to do something simple and I love how this art journal page turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. If you are new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. Be sure to turn on that bell so you're notified every time that I upload a video. I upload videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I also have a brand new YouTube channel called Cards by Tiffany. I hope you guys check it out. It will be linked down in the description box for you. And I wanna thank you guys again for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.